Hi guys, today Dr. Chandraprakash Dvivedi came on Sanjay Dikshit's podcast J- Jaipur Dialogues and convinced me to watch Prithviraj Chauhan. Now, up till now I hadn't watched it because I thought, I heard uh, Pratik Buratkar's uh, interview with Sanjay Dikshit where he in detail uh, reviewed the entire film and I, uh, I wasn't much impressed with the trailer either. I really lo- loved the Hari Har song. It was very epic and large and grand, powerful, impactful. But the but the things he said about the movie it really turned me off. But I'm now totally convinced that I'm going to see uh, because the way uh, the Vivedi ji defended himself and uh, defended him defended the complaints against the film. I've noted down some of the points that Sanjay Dikshit uh, brought up. First of all, you need to know that this is this is one of the best interviews I've seen in 2022 by anybody on YouTube because it was. See, some interviews are go south because everyone is uh, agreeing with everyone. The interviewer agrees with the guest and vice versa. So it's a very wishy-washy and mushy kind of a feeling. It's a very uh, bro kind of thing going on, bromance going on. And sometimes it goes very ugly because they don't agree on anything. Uh, and it's, it's a Times Now kind of a TV debate fight. Here, both people are not very... Uh, against each other but they disagree on certain things and it, this was a master class in from Sanjay Dikshit especially on how to uh, counter a person totally respectfully without being rude at all but not accepting his words just because he doesn't want to uh, just because he wants to avoid confrontation so he didn't go become confrontational but pushed back f- uh, from on Dvivedi ji's comments but very respectfully so the first complaint that uh, Sanjay Dikshit pointed out was that uh, people were expecting to see Chandra Prakash Dvivedi, uh, like his persona, his knowledge in the film, but they ended up seeing Akshay Kumar. No one wants to see Akshay Kumar's uh, comedic action role and same expressions and same voice tonality. He doesn't even change his voice octave and uh, in any film. It's the same Akshay Kumar dialogue style in every movie. At least in the last five, six films. So, uh, and that that's not something the audience wanted. The audience wanted Chandra Prakash Dvedi's uh, persona, which was not not real life persona, but at least what we know from Chanakya. Chandra Prakash Dvedi is synonymous with Chanakya in India because of the 1991 uh, Doordarshan TV serial that he did, which was a complete failure at that point, probably, but is a super big uh, hit uh, now on YouTube. Especially because of channels like uh, Sanjay Dikshit himself, and uh, and it has countless views. Maybe Sanjay, uh, maybe Chandra Prakash Dvedi doesn't get the royalties anymore. So Chandra Prakash Dvedi uh, argues that the film started uh, in 2018. The production for this Prithviraj started in 2018, and uh, he st- he started first thinking about doing a movie like this and talking to producers back in 2004. So first of all, Chandra Prakash Dvivedi ji misunderstood the question. Uh, he thought that the, this uh, point is particularly about Akshay Kumar's age, which is also a big problem because Akshay Kumar is 54 and um, and Prithviraj Chauhan uh, attained martyrdom at the age of 26 or 27, right? So Chandra Prakash Dvivedi says that uh, we thought of uh, taking Sunny Deval in the in the original film, and even he was above 40 or 50. And if you see most our biggest stars are are above 50 on the way, on their way to 60 these are the guys that bring the biggest bucks these are the people buy tickets for and and uh, he also points out that see all the movies that have been made made up till now are all made by old stars so what can we do we didn't think that we we have to take another course so uh, the transition of the, the taste of audience that has happened since 2018 until 2022 especially because of uh, pandemic uh, that people have seen the best movies. This is an exact quote I'm making from Dvivedi ji himself. He is so humble and beautifully explains this thing that he himself says that, see, people have seen the best shit <laughs> in, in their lifetimes in the pandemic during uh, staying home. And now they have, their tastes have changed. But that wasn't the case in 2018. So he had no reason to think that the, uh, the film would be any problem with Akshay Kumar in the, <laughs> in the lead role. So it's, it's a very, very... Um, uh, Uh, what's the English word it's a very justified thing to say it's a very justified thing for him to assume that the people would love Akshay Kumar no matter what so uh, and he also points out that unless a big star says yes no one's going to fund your movie and he says that he even went to some bigger stars than Akshay Kumar so he probably hints at people we know and they actually rejected it Uh, so uh, no one was going to fund his movie unless it was a gigantic star like Akshay Kumar so he had to go with Akshay Kumar and he even says this exact phrase that 
the selection is not going to always happen based on their talent or their skill set so we had to go beyond that and uh, i want to make a point that um this isn't completely false right because uh, i know online people complain a lot that uh, why was priyanka chopra asked to play maricom why didn't someone from manipur play her so wh- how many people would see the movie maricom if it was made by athibam dana chanu or abhinav alangam uh, th- those two women are gigantic uh, actresses and stars in manipur no one would see maricom if it wasn't for priyanka chopra so some things are the reality of society and and the capitalism and free market that we live in Uh, these are the side effects of a of an otherwise kind of good system uh, if it was not f- a free market society then if we had socialism then and the government would direct uh, people to say no you have to use this star otherwise okay that al- also happens in sometimes but in some cases but that's a different context so there's nothing much to uh, do in this situation okay uh, the second complaint that sanjay dikshit uh, brings out is that there was too much entertainment ornamentation in the movie and that wasn't uh, much needed <clears throat> as sanjay dikshit says in his hindi is that there was too much shringar uh, in the movie dwivedi ji gives a perfect counter to this as well he says i researched natya shastra and there i read about the importance of shringar in any piece of art and drama no matter what the topic there has to be some purely entertainment context and ent- entertainment content so that people watch it otherwise it won't reach people because you you otherwise what's the uh, my point is that otherwise what's the difference between a documentary and a feature film you you know that you want some some entertainment things right so uh, they have always been a part of drama forever ever since uh, natya shastra was written f- from before that uh, for for example dwivedi dwivedi ji was saying that uh, he was against the idea of putting songs in the film but the producers pushed back and then dwivedi ji himself read in natya shastra and natya shastra itself and the prithviraj raso itself they are written in the form of poems and songs so uh, Uh, conceptually and logically there shouldn't be any problem with songs as well because it's a song and dance drama kind of a thing if you see from a very primitive and ancient indian perspective as well then uh, sanjay dikshit uh, points out another problem that uh, okay here sanjay dikshit uh, pushes back politely he doesn't accept uh, dwivedi ji's explanation he tries to convince uh, dwivedi ji that see people wanted to see something as honest and well made and beautifully made and as perfect as chanakya to which dwivedi ji seems to be unaware that chanakya is such a popular hit Chan- uh, dwivedi ji seems to be completely unaware how much we like the doordarshan version of chanakya because he even says that see they they stop my funding Uh, and uh, said that uh, if we talk about uh, if we say, speak in that perfect hindi i'll come to that point later Uh, people had said during uh, chanakya that uh, this this language is was used by brahmins so why are you using that for every character in chanakya so to which sanjay dikshit repeatedly says that you are not probably aware but the times have changed people love chanakya people wanted to see that kind of a production and even before i saw the, the, the chanakya i hope you guys all uh, you all have, you all have seen it in on youtube I thought it would be just some shoddy doordarshan quality uh, production and uh, you guys know what, 90s kids who have grown up from the early 90s what what rubbish uh, doordarshan used to do uh, production wise they had good ideas and stuff but uh, production quality as in camera background score uh, set design and all that was all, all not comparable to anything outside india so before uh, seeing chanakya i thought this is going to be something of that sort but i was totally surprised that no 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 dwivedi ji did something very special with chanakya and it's a timeless classic now dwivedi ji doesn't seem to understand that uh, people everyone almost in india now knows at least people who follow any now it's it's in, it's we have to say that say this that we do have a right wing or indic wing ecosystem now on internet right and that is the section of the population that has seen chanakya on youtube and they are pretty much a majority and uh, they they want uh, productions like chanakya again and to which dwivedi ji seems to be completely unaware and ignorant 
he doesn't know that this uh, gigantic shift in audience taste has happened which is a good thing he says that maybe he'll uh, do, do uh, pursue that path in the, in his next production and he says that meri to abhi umar hai banane ki for which is another reason that i i thought uh, i am going to see the movie because because why are why is going to say that oh, why fund these movies it's 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 a gigantic flop anyway so i hope they do keep funding dwedi ji for more productions so that dwedi ji has now gotten the message that it's uh, that the taste of audiences have shifted and they can make uh, they can give dwedi ji more freedom and 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 do stuff like chanakya and the the insanely good detailings that he did now the biggest complaint with the movie is the language why is it normal urdu uh, urdu with with hindi words and hindi with urdu words to which uh, dwedi ji kind of gives a kind of weak argument that uh, see language has always evolved and uh, it's debatable that uh, whether urdu is an outsider's language because he points out some examples that uh, urdu itself may be uh, ha- may have come from hindi or bridge bhasha or uh, khadi boli he went into a lot of linguistic detail you guys should really watch the interview it's a very um uh, learnable uh, it's a very educative uh, interview and uh, sanjay dikshit even uh, pointed out that yeah shrikant talagiri uh, himself who has done the linguistic paleontolo- paleontology department and uh, wrote ha- and has written countless books on uh, debunking the aryan invasion theory myths that even uh, shrikant talagiri has uh, brought out this theory that uh, urdu farsi might be uh, sister and uh, son daughter languages from vedic sanskrit itself so his point is that see all languages evolve all the time who knows uh, how urdu has come about uh, but he doesn't directly respond to sanjay dikshit's main and the, uh, the audience's main point that uh, that language wasn't used then in those times in prithviraj chauhan's times no one was going to use words like shahid yeah, they were going to use uh, words like balidan and virgati ko prapt hona not shahid because now people know that what shahid mean means shahid doesn't mean martyrdom for for your land or something shahid means a very specific kind of martyrdom see islam has four uh, four, four kinds of believers there's a hierarchy at the bottom there are mumins who are just normal believers who don't take who believe in everything islam says but don't take any action on top of that the next in rank is uh, our mujahids who take part in jihad on top of that are ghazis ghazis are people who have actually killed kafirs with their own hands shahid is someone who has died on while they were uh, performing jihad uh, so that's the meaning of shahid not not just any any soldier dying in any war so uh, people he should have avoided using words like that but then divedi ji point brings out another defense to this argument that uh see language uh, there's another justification in natya shastra itself and he quotes chand bardai himself in some of his writings of prithviraj raso that uh, whatever the art form it needs to be said in the language of that time or uh, when the when the art form is being created so that is that divedi ji makes this argument also based on his feedback of making chanakya because uh, he thinks that many people didn't like chanakya because uh he wrote such uh, sh- such clear indic hindi or the fact that he was criticized for writing uh, clear indic uh, pure indic hindi and uh, critics of those days said that uh, it's a it's a language of the upper class elite brahmins but those arguments have died down or at least don't matter to uh, us the indic wing anymore so uh, even if we see from that perspective it's a, at least on on paper theoretically it's a kind of a valid argument that prithviraj is releasing in 22 22 so it it should be in the language of 2022 and not the language of when prithviraj johan was alive so it's a weak argument but it is kind of a uh, good argument so for these reasons i've decided to watch prithviraj johan and i think so should you so that Prithvi, uh, so that chandraprakash dwedi ji himself gets some funds and gets encouragement to make more films that will be Uh, better now that he has got the message that people want productions like chanakya and so we need to send the message financially that yes we want them and we we want those productions and we, we want him to make more movies like that